special screening of The Peacemaker is going to be taking place tomorrow, brought to you by the Irish Film Festival. With all the details, we say hello to Patrick Murray with the Irish Film Festival right here in Ottawa. How are you? Good. How are you, Dylan? Very good to have you back on the couch. Now, a quick history of the Irish Film Festival. Yes, we just finished our uh, fifth edition at the uh, end of March, mm -hmm. uh, which was uh, quite successful. We had a couple of directors in, a few sellouts, and, uh, and a great time. We're looking forward to year number six uh, next that year. That's great. I love the word sellout. That's yes. Those two words. That's great. Yeah. Great to hear. Okay, so what is this Peacemaker documentary all about? So this is an event I've been trying to pull together for about a year. As you imagine, the, the people involved are quite busy, mm -hmm. so uh, to pull the, this together. Um, it's about uh, a gentleman uh, named Pora Gamali, who is uh, from Ireland, currently uh, lives in Boston, who uh, specializes in conflict resolution. And he's been around the world and he's worked in Northern Ireland helping with the peace accord there. He's worked in uh, South Africa and as well as Middle East and Iraq. Mm. Okay, sounds like this guy has quite a lot going on. He does. Okay, but yeah. the cool part is that he's actually going to be at the screening? That's right. I've brought him together. Uh, he's coming in uh, tomorrow, and he'll be there along with uh, uh, retired General John Chastlain, who's okay. a former Chief of Defense Staff. Wow. Uh, and uh, with uh, Canadian Forces. He was also uh, in charge during the Olga crisis, so he has a conflict uh, experience there. Hmm. And he oversaw the demilitarization of the IRA, the disarmament of the IRA okay. during uh, the 1998 peace accord. Okay, more details coming up in moments. It's yeah. happening at the Beechwood uh, Cemetery Sacred Room, but how about we have a look? Here's a clip of the peace sure. I think looking at Porrick and the role he has played, we come to an irony in history. The backroom players never get acknowledged, and yet they, they remain the essential part of the solution. People who are in the Foreign Service, people who are in the UN, oh my God, you know, they can't do what Porik does. That's their, why there are the Poriks of the world. Porik's goal was to get them in the same room to listen to the South Africans. And he accomplished that goal. And it hadn't been done before. There are many of us who know him who haven't really figured out what motivates him. And when you try to take the conversation in that direction, it sort of runs out. It, it, it doesn't get very far. Uh, my name is Porik. I'm an alcoholic. I'm often concerned about the, uh, the quality of my uh, sobriety. That is the peacemaker, just a clip of what you'll get. Now, you mentioned uh, John Chastelain, general, retired yes. general, going to be uh, there. He's doing a, a talk back. So what is that going to be? So uh, he'll be, afterwards, he'll be joining Paul Rigg for a talk back, along with uh, Valerie Percival, who is with the Norman Patterson School of International Affairs. Okay, so, so does that yeah. mean people in attendance can ask questions? That's right. So they'll talk about the film, they'll talk about conflict, and they'll answer any questions that people have. And of course, okay. they'll talk about Paul Rigg. So it's about an hour, 30 minutes long. Yeah. Um, who, who would be best to check out a film like this? Actually, I would welcome anybody in Ottawa to come on out and see it. Um, it's not just about conflict re resolution. It's not just a film about academics. It's also a film about a human being and uh, his own internal conflicts, as you saw from the trailer. He struggled with alcoholism. He has his own demons. Mm -hmm. And so he helps other people with their conflicts, but he struggles with his own. Mm -hmm. you know? People could really learn. I think everybody can relate to that, yes. Okay, and relate. okay so obviously you're expanding the That's Irish right. Film Festival because the festival is about a month back and now you're doing these these documentaries why are you expanding it's something I've been wanting to do for a while um, over a weekend we can only show about six films so and a country like Ireland produces many great films including documentaries and uh, it's hard to fit them all in also I find with a short film festival um, it can be tough to program mixing in documentaries with narrative films it can create kind of a uh, ruin the flow of, uh, okay. of the programming. Absolutely. Kind of go with one or the other. So it's it's a lot easier to spread out documentaries throughout the year, mm -hmm. uh, and, e and possibly even do a, a short film block as well at some point. Okay. Also, it allows us opportunities, more flexibility, bringing guests like Porig. Yeah, for of course. Um, so I have to ask about the venue because yes. Beechwood Cemetery Sacred Room. That That's doesn't right. sound like a place 
where no. you'd normally view a, a film. So why did you choose that venue? They actually came to us. Uh, they've been looking to add more and more uh, cultural events there. They have a great room there. Uh, it's all set up with audio visual and uh, the Beechwood Cemetery is also a, uh, as you know, it's a, it's a national historic place uh, uh, designation, and it's also a place uh, uh, where many uh, famous Canadians are buried, as well mm -hmm. as it's our uh, our uh, war cemetery as well. So it's has a, it's I think it's appropriate for the peacekeeper for that reason as well, mm -hmm. and um, and the and the uh, the venue itself is looking to bring in more diverse cultural events. Uh, quickly, what time does it get underway? It starts at 6:30 p.m. 6:30 p.m. Irish Film Festival Ottawa.ca. More details there, of course. Yeah. Patrick Murray, thank you. Thank you very much, Dylan. Always great to have you on our program. More daytime coming up on Rogers TV.